Hi skaters, on behalf of the rinks in Great Park Ice, this is the Jumps to Off-Ice Training video. What we're going to do is a dynamic warm-up, some technique and exercises for the jumps in class, and then followed by a stretching and cool-down. In Jumps 2, we're going to learn or review the single flip and the single lutz. They're very similar, but you got to watch out that there's an inside edge for the single flip and an outside edge for the single lutz. The dynamic warm-up should be used before any on-ice or off-ice training sessions. The goal of the dynamic warm-up is to increase your blood flow, warm-up joints, and activate key muscle groups. This is great to make you feel better in your training and safely train so you can prevent getting injured. We're going to break down the dynamic warm-up into four key areas. Range of motion, dynamic movements, dynamic stretches, and muscle activation. Starting with range of motion, we're going to start with our neck. Let's do eight neck rolls to the left. And continue, five, six, seven, eight. Now we're gonna do eight neck rolls to the right. And continue. Five, six, seven, eight. Next, we're gonna do shoulder rolls. Four back, four forward. Now lift your arms and continue to roll the shoulders. And forward. Next is called trunk twist. Twist to the right. Twist to the left. Make sure you hold your head still, turn your shoulders, and pull your belly button into your spine. And our hips. Left. And right. Finally, ankle rolls, lift your leg, roll eight times to the right, and eight times to the left. And repeat on the other leg. For the dynamic movements, we're going to do high knee runs butt kickers, lateral shuffle, and jumping jacks. First, the high knee runs. Start across the floor, lift your legs, and run. For butt kickers, your feet are gonna go behind. For lateral shuffle, put your hands in front, bend your knees slightly, and shuffle across the floor. And for jumping jacks, you're going to bring your hands together at the top of your head and open your legs. For dynamic stretches, we're going to start with quad pulls, lateral lunges, lunge and step with rotation, and T-spine rotation. First, the quad pull. Lift your foot, grab it in your hand, and pull your knee back. Switch feet, and do the other side. For lateral lunges, start with your feet together and your hands on your waist. Step to the side, and bend. Lean forward. Stand up. Step to the side and bend. Lean forward. Let's do eight of those. Next, lunge and step with rotation. Same position with your feet together and your hands on your waist. Step forward, rotate and touch the floor. Stand up, step forward, rotate and touch the floor. 
stand up. Let's do eight of those. Spine rotation, bring your feet together, lift your arms, bend your knees forward, drop your back, rotate to the right, look at the ceiling, go to neutral. Rotate to the left, look at the ceiling, and go to neutral. And our final part of the dynamic warm up is muscle activation. We're gonna do four exercises, heel to toe raises, prone plank, squat jump prep, and quarter squat jumps. For the heel to toe raises, stand with your feet together, lift your heels, lift your toes, lift your heels, lift your toes, lift your heels, lift your toes. Lift your toes. This is a great way to warm up your ankles. For prone plank, Bring yourself down to the floor, body straight, elbows on the ground, and pull your core in. Try to keep your back flat and your hips, legs, and head in line. For our squat jump prep, we're going to use our waist to bend, our knees to bend, our ankles to bend, and our ankles. Let's review that again. Our waist, our knees, our ankles, rising to the ball of your feet. So we're gonna go forward, in, rocks. Forward, in, rocks. Now the quarter squat jump, put your feet right underneath your shoulders and your hands on your waist. We're going to divide our rotation into four quarters. Left, behind, right, and forward. Bend into our squat jump prep position and go up, 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 up. We've now completed the dynamic warm up. Be sure to do each exercise eight times to be thoroughly warmed up. The single flip and the single lutz are very similar to the single loop in that you're gonna stay on your right side in the air and have your left knee forward into this H position. The key difference is, instead of taking off an edge to make it an edge jump, it's a toe jump because it takes off the toe pick. Between the flip and the lutz, let's review. We're gonna have a nice hallway in front of us. For the single flip, think about tapping slightly behind your right ear And when you draw to pull your foot back, come in to the right ear with a little bit of a pivot in the hips. Pivot means pre-rotation, a little bit in the lower body while holding your upper body still. Let's review that. Arms up, tap behind your right ear, draw your foot back, and turn the hips a little bit. In order to create the inside edge, you want to take your left foot and fold it over a little bit. That's going to press off the inside edge for the single flip. Now the difference with the single lutz is instead of tapping behind your right ear, you want to think about tapping behind your left ear and pulling back on an outside edge. In order to do that, your body lean is going to change. Single flip, single lutz. Do you see the difference in my lean and my shoulders? This is the lean of a flip. This is the lean of a lutz. So let's work on the lutz. Arms up, shoulders down, left hand in front of the left shoulder, right hand slightly inside behind you. Tap behind the left ear. On the draw, we're gonna press the foot onto the outside edge and lean out of the circle. From this position, your hips pivot and your arms rotate to take you off into the air for the single lutz. So for the single flip on the floor, we can do some nice walkthroughs to review the technique and then we can try the jump. By taking one hop, tap, draw you in and jump. And for the single lutz, set the arms Set the leg, hop backwards, tap, draw in, and jump. 
Very important when you do the single jumps, you want to complete the full rotation in the air. If you're struggling a little bit to get around, that's okay. Review your air rotation that we did in the dynamic warm up. Here's our quarter squat. And more advanced to work on the squat jump is to add the arms and try to go further. Hold your arms still, bend your knees, rotate to the right, and try a half. If that gets too easy, try three quarters landing over here. Hold your arms, bend your knees, rotate the shoulders, jump. Very important when you do your squat jumps, land with your knees over your toes, your belly button tight, your head still, shoulders down, and try to stay very still. Whenever you're working on your jumps on the floor, the landing position should be held. That's gonna give you control, flow, and glide on the ice to make the jump look special. Once you're done doing your workout, it's important to do a stretching and cool down to help relax your muscles. We're gonna start by bringing our arm behind our back and trying to grab the hands together and pulling it. This is gonna really open up your shoulder blade. And other side. Now, let's rotate the arm across and stretch. Across and stretch. Go ahead and hold each stretch for about 30 seconds. From here, bring your hands forward and try to put your hands flat down on the ground. And press and flat. And now let's roll your back. Let it hang and open. Hang and open. Go ahead and sit on the ground and bring your feet together to do the butterfly stretch. Push your knees down with your elbows. Bring your feet forward and try to touch your toes or bring your hands past your toes. Now let's open up and stretch to the side. and open up and stretch to the side. And then try to go forward. Finally, it's very important to stretch your split. And repeat that on both sides. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Christopher Pottinger, the skating manager at the Rinks Anaheim Ice. On behalf of Great Park Ice and the Rinks, we really appreciate you watching our videos and staying safe at home while working on your Learn to Skate and Skating Academy elements. We hope to see you on the ice soon. Bye.